Hey, what up America? This is your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV on YouTube. You have just tuned in to The Daily Briefing. Now, today is February 28th, 2019. Now, with The Daily Briefing, it's pretty much briefings on the 24-hour uh, news cycle and um, up into the minute, okay? Now, the whole premise of what we're doing here is uh, based on entertainment, sports, politics, and money, you know, because that's something that, you know, we all um, deal with on a daily break, uh, daily basis as in current events and things of that nature. But, you know, we're going to spend it a little bit. This is a better black America TV. So it's going to be more of an urban appeal. And this is pretty much the first show. So, you know, a little kinks going on, but we, we'll get it together because like I said, when you have a dream and have a vision, you got to keep it going. You know, so that should motivate somebody out there because, you know, I've been uh, it's been a long time coming and to be sitting here in front of you today uh, doing a, a daily show that has a daily um, name attached to that. That that's speaking to something that's going to be have to be consistent. And that's the key uh, and persistence in this game. So with the uh, daily briefing, this ESPM entertainment, sports, politics and money and in that order entertainment, sports, politics, and money. So we're going to start with some entertainment news. Now, enter in the entertainment news, we got R. Kelly, my brother R. Kelly from Chi-Town. Man, he, he caught some cases, man. He man, he, he did some dirt so long ago. I don't know if it's going on today, but the chickens are, are coming home to roost, as uh, Malcolm X would say, because what you do in the dark comes into the light. It's just a matter of time. But man, should I take R. Kelly out my playlist? I'm not sure about that, but, you know, I'm having some second thoughts. You know, I'm, I'm just so happy that I've never uh, has been have been put in a position uh, like uh, Mr. Robert Kelly. You know, I think we both Capricorns and, you know, I grew up on 12 play and all that. And I remember um, playing those those songs in the dorms, you know, like when they when they heard Glove on the third floor, it brought us all Central State University. Don't knock on my dough. You hit that R. Kelly because something was going on. But one of my favorite songs, man, was You Remind Me of My G. You remind me of my Jeep, man. That's one of his songs, man. And I remember, you know, it, it, it's it's it, it was a metaphor for what a woman reminded him of. And somehow, you know, when the Jeep Cherokees came out, you know, the limited edition with the gold rims and the gold trimming, you know, it was something, you know, that was that, you know, Jeeps was was hot back then when he made the song. So that song, You Remind Me of My Jeep, something like my sounds. I want to pump it, girl, you look just like my car. I want to drive it, something like my bank account. That was my jam. But the Me Too founder, the Me Too founder, and her name is uh, Tarana Burke. I wonder what she reminds him of. 